Hi guys, welcome back to Creating with Mimi. Today's video is all about rugs. How to choose the best area rug for your space. Space. So we're gonna go through a few different types of area rugs. Um, the reason why you would have an area rug, where you would place the area rug, First up guys, number one is scale in reference to your area rug. We've got to make sure that you're choosing the right size rug for the right space and how we do that is as follows. Okay, if you take four to six inches and make sure that your rug is underneath your sofa, four to six inches around, you'll be able to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a diagram and you'll be able to get catch the diagram here and then you'll see exactly what I'm speaking of when I say at four or six inches around your uh, sofa and then make sure your rug covers that area. Whether or not you're trying to create a traffic area, the rug is going to designate where that traffic area would be. So those are the things that you're going to consider in choosing a traffic rug. Next tip. A rug actually defines the, the space that it's going to be in. For instance, if it's in a living room, in a sitting area, you want to have that rug in next to your sofa, your tables, and your chairs, okay? So if it's in a master bedroom, the rug is going to define where you're sleeping. Oftentimes in a master bedroom, you guys, you'll place a small rug at the foot of the bed. Why is the rug at the foot of the bed? When you're getting out of the bed in the morning, you don't want to step on a hard coat surface. you rather step on the rug. So get larger rugs, 9x10s, 9x12s, larger rugs to cover the left and right side of your bed so that when you step out of the bed in the morning, you're stepping on something soft and something warm. Next up, guys, is the size of a rug. If you're going to purchase your rug and it's going to be a retail rug, it's going to be a 3x5, 4x6, 5x7, 8x10, or maybe if you're lucky, you're going to find a 10x12 in your retail stores, okay? So that kind, it would limit you to a certain extent in terms of the size of the rug that you're looking for, but those are the typical sizes that we have. Best size for a living room though, guys, is a 9x12 rug or an 8x10 if that's the only size that you could find. Uh, at a retail store. We're going to talk about what to do um, if you can't find a rug in a retail store that's your size. That's going to be a tip that I'm going to save for you at the end. Okay guys, so the next question you often ask is, okay, what type of rug should I get? What type of material should I use for my rug? And that's totally going to depend on what the rug is used for. So we're going to talk about those areas of whether it's a high traffic area, if it's going to be a rug and we need to consider kids or we need to consider pets. That determines the type of material that you're going to use when we're selecting a new rug for your space. Okay, like I talked about before, if the rug is for your bedroom, right? Those rugs typically we want to be soft, so you could mix it with the silk if you choose to. Um, they're basically, guys, two types of materials when we're talking about rug. There is a synthetic material and then there's a natural material, okay? So we're gonna talk about the different types of synthetic. And a lot of your rugs that you see in a retail store are made of a synthetic. Um, and they're the least cost effective would be a synthetic rug. Your synthetic rugs are made up of nylons, um, poly type fabrics, or any man-made fiber that you would have for a synthetic rug. Your natural rugs, which probably look the best, are your wool rugs, your cotton rugs, your sisal rugs. Those rugs um, tend to be a little bit more pricier, but they will give you a bang for your buck in terms of durability and long wear. So if we're talking about having a wool rug, uh, you wanna make sure that that's in a high traffic area. The only real downside to a wool rug is cost. It will be more expensive for a wool rug, but it will last a lot longer than a synthetic rug. So your synthetic rugs or areas that you'll place them would be in an entryway if you're gonna have a lot of traffic coming through the front door or if you have something by a kitchen sink, something that you want to be disposable. You know, you're not spending a whole lot of money on it and so it's disposable. I'm gonna place also in here, guys, you're gonna take a look at some of the wool rugs, some of the um, sisal rugs, 
that are out now because you can get so many different patterns and shapes with those rugs and obviously I'm talking about a wool rug because it's my number one choice. A wool rug is the number one choice for any designer in placing a nice area rug in your home and it just elevates the style of the room. It accentuates the style of any particular space. Why do I love the wool rug so much? And I'm saying wool, wool, wool. <laughs> because that's a tongue twister for me. All right, why do I love the wool rug so much? It is the most durable, it can be soft or it can be firm, and it just gives you a variety on things as to what you can do in the space. Not only that, they're pretty stain resistant. Then you've got your cotton rugs, okay? Cotton rugs can be very soft uh, on the feet, and obviously they stain a little bit more, it takes a little bit more in terms of wear and tear, but a cotton rug is a nice uh, natural material that you can use as well. Then you've got your beautiful jute or sisal rug. These rugs really take you to the natural, so if you're farmhouse style or if you like things to be earth tones, that would be a great rug for you as well. Up next is the construction of the rug or where or how the rug is made. Whether you want a pile, shag, a short pile, a medium pile, or if you want a loop rug, again, that totally is going to depend on where the rug is actually going to go. Uh, if you want something soft, like a silk, we talked about that, that would be something that you place in your bedroom. Or if you have a luxurious living room and you do not have pets, or small children, I would place a silk rug mixed with probably a wool uh, inside of the living room. There's also woven, animal print rugs, cowhide rugs. Now those particular rugs, I like to take an animal print and I will always sometimes place that on top of another rug. So now you're creating texture, you're creating interest in a space. There's burlap, there's loop rugs, there's woven rugs, and then there's animal print. I love, love, love when we take an animal print and place that on top of a rug. And so how do you choose these particular materials or construction of a rug? You decide on how you're going to use the rug. If, again, we go back to traffic area, if it's a high traffic area, if it's something that you really need to be concerned about in terms of pets, then you don't want to place a silk rug in that area because then it's going to be soiled and you've paid a lot of money for it. So that would not necessarily be a good thing to do as well. Finally guys, there's carpet tiles and I love this. We've been using this for about maybe six or seven years and what it is is it's cut carpet and it's placed on a tile. So that way you'll be able to, if you have a spill or if you have a soil area that you can't get out, you just pick the tile up and then you just replace it with uh, the new tile rug. It looks amazing. I use it a lot in commercial areas, children rooms, um, high traffic areas and you can use that in a workout room in an exercise room if you want and you don't want the common mat there you can place the uh, tile rug in that area as well one other commonly asked question and this is a it goes up and down depending on who you're talking with and it's about rugs in a dining room area Personally for me, I don't like to place a rug underneath the dining room area because of two reasons. One is it's a high traffic area with food, beverages that are going to spill and stain the rug. And the other thing is just a functional issue. It's very difficult to move a chair from underneath the table when it's on top of a rug and your guests could probably snag or fall over. I've seen that happen. Um, so I typically don't like to place a dining room rug underneath a table. Next guys, make sure that you place a non-slip pad underneath your rug, especially if you have a hardwood floor and you're placing a rug that may uh, scratch the surface of the floor. So it's not just a non-stick so your rug doesn't move, but it also is a protector for the floor underneath should you decide to pick the rug up or not have a rug. You don't want scratches in that area from the rug moving around or just traffic or pattern on there. Okay guys, where are the best places that you could actually go and purchase these rugs? I'm going to give you three locations and this is where designers truly actually go and purchase rugs for our clients. 
Number one, rugs.com, absolutely wonderful. They have an array of rugs that you can actually choose from. Then there's Stark Carpet, Stark Rugs, you can choose theirs. My number one favorite place, guys, and go-to for rugs because it has so much of a variety for any individual client is Amazon. Amazon has a world of rugs. They should call it Amazon World of Rugs because you're going to find an array of colors, an array of sizes, an array of construction materials, and you'll be able to just shop all day. I've linked some in the description box of my favorite rugs for, that you can purchase on Amazon. Finally guys, I promised you a designer tip, right? What do you do, you know, when you have a rug that you absolutely love, but it's not the right size, right? And you're shopping in a retail location. Then you buy two, and this is what a designer will do as well. We will buy two of the same rugs, and then we'll take the rug and have it put together and bind so that it looks like one rug. So if you stuck around this long and you're liking this video, guys, I want you to go ahead and hit that like button if you want to see more videos about design or if you want to see more videos about style and living your best life, hit that like button and the bell notification so every time I list a video or post a video, you'll get notified that there's a new video out. Desire